SCP-001, Dr. Clef's Proposal, Object Class, Euclid slash Keter, Special Containment Procedures. Because of the nature of SCP-001, no containment procedures are necessary. 24-7 monitoring of SCP-001 is to take place from a safe 10 kilometer distance and a predetermined location, Site-0. The location of Site-0 is known only to the current SCP administrator and the single overseer agent of Abrahamic faith, assigned to, to monitor SCP-001 from Site-0. Said agent is authorized to take any action necessary should SCP-001 become active and is required to immediately alert the administrator and all other overseer level agents should SCP-001 show any change in behavior, as this may constitute at the beginning of the Pathmos XK class end of the world scenario. Should SCP-001 become active in any way, personnel are required to immediately consult the Pathmos series of emergency orders. Decoding algorithms for emergency order Pathmos are to be maintained on site at Site-0, the possession of a designated observer and are to be tra transmitted to the SCP Foundation offices only in the event of SCP-001 becoming active. Foundation personnel with final roles and one or more variants of emergency procedure Patmos are to be advised to take the following precautions. To maintain good relations with one or more organized Abrahamic thakes. To maintain on hand a supply of the following holy water, a rosary, crucifix, cross, prayer rug, or other symbol blessed by the Abrahamic cleric of bishop or equivalent higher rank, a copy of Abrahamic scriptures, and a standard emergency supplies in mobile form. In case of parental rapture scenario, all vital personnel are to be designated as secondary operative of non-Abrahamic faith. Said second secondary operative is to be informed of the location of the primary this against copy of emergency procedure Patmos, a memetic kill agent inoculant, and is to be kept on ready status to take over the primary duties as necessary. To maintain familiarity with all other SPs involved in possible Patmos, XK class, and or scenarios. Description SCP-001 is a humanoid entity approximately 700 cubits in height, located in an undisclosed location near the intersection of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The following features are known about the entity. A number of luminous wing-like appendages emerging from the shoulders, back, temples, angles, and wrists of the entity. Although an accurate count has never been established, most observers place the number of wings from anywhere from 2 through 108, with the mean be number being 4. Weapon, possibly a sword or knife, SCP-001-2. The weapon appears to emit flames at the temperature rivaling that of the sun. Based on this spectrographic analysis, although there appear to be no destructive effects from the intense heat on the surrounding area, any entity that approaches within one kilometer of SCP-001 is immediately struck by the weapon and obliterated from existence. Any and all hostile actions taken towards SCP-001 have resulted in annihilation of the attacker, regardless of range. SCP-001 appears to be standing with its head bowed in a gesture of, of supplication, with SCP-001-2 held in both hands pointed down in front of it. Since originally recorded by the founder over data redacted years ago. SCP-001 has not deviated from this stance. Humans being exposed to SCP-001 report hearing a voice in their heads, giving them a directive which the subject reports cannot be disobeyed. The most common directive is forget, which results in subject walking away from SCP-001 with no memory of, of having encountered it. On rare occasions, however, other directives have been given. The most famous of these has is the one given to the founder, Prepare, which he has claimed formed the impetus of the founding data redacted to catalog and contain any and all supernatural and or paranormal artifacts that represent a serious threat to the current existence of humanity. 
This is the organization known as the SCP Foundation. Observers have re reported that SCP-001 appears to be standing in front of a gate of immense proportions. Long-range photographs have occasionally detected that what appears to be a pastoral grove within containing a numerous other entities of the same composition as SCP-001, as well as several fruit trees of an unknown composition. Of particular, there are two fruit trees of immense pro proportion near what appears to be the center of the grove. One, it is noted, appears to be an ordinary apple tree, although the other bears a fruit unknown on Earth, described as data expunged. It is the avowed belief of the founder that the gate which SCP-001 guards may be the gate to expunge, based on the correlation with the ancient Babylonian texts and the Dead Sea Scrolls, in which case one can deduce that the entity known as SCP-001 must be expunged. Addendum 001-A Experimentation RE SCP-001 one dash two's effective kill range. Experiment A. One Class D personnel instructed to approach SCP-001 as closely as possible on foot. Foot. Result: Upon making visual contact with SCP-001, subject is ordered to leave. Subject immediately turns away from the entity and walks away. Despite repeated orders to continue the experiment, Class D personnel refuses to obey and is terminated. Upon termination of Class D personnel. All research staff involved are immediately obliterated by an unknown force, presumably SCP-001-2. Experiment B. One remote operated research robot guided to approach SCP-001 from the ground. Result: Upon approaching one kilometer of SCP-001, research robot is obliterated, presuming by SCP-001-2. All further attempts at remote reconnaissance have had the same result. S Experiment C. 100 pre-programmed research drones instructed to approach SCP-001 from multiple angles simultaneously. Result. Coordination is successful and all 100 drones cross the 1 km, uh, kilometer mark simultaneously. However, all 100 are simultaneously obliterated by SCP-001-2. Designated observer at Site 0 reports that SCP-001-2 appeared to strike in all directions at once. SCP-001 did not deviate from its stance while this took place. Experiment D. Wire-guided missile fired from the distance of 3 kilometers. Result. SCP-001-2 obliterates weapon upon crossing the 1 km mark, simultaneously obliterating the launch site and killing all personnel. Experiment E. Multi-warhead -war -war intercontinental ballistic missile fired from the SCP nuclear submarine Natalis. Result. C in, uh, result. Submarine was obliterated. Experiment F, SCP-076, and Task Force Omega-7 inst instructed to approach SCP-001 on foot. Result, SCP-076 refuses to carry out mission despite not being informed of the mission's nature. Upon being asked why, SCP-076 replies, no. Just no. Experiment G, SCP-073, due to the results of Experiment F, SCP-073 was not informed of its destination until arriving at Site-0. Result, SCP-073 approached the site on foot. Upon seeing SCP-001, SCP-073 became distressed and asked to abort. SCP-073 was ordered to continue. At, the, at that point, the symbol on SCP-073 Forehead became data expunged. Experiment was terminated due to data expunged. Addendum 001-AA. By executive order of the administrator, no further experiments are to be carried out. Uh, re SCP-001. No further SCPs are to be exposed to SCP-001. SCP-001 is not to be used to dispose of dangerous SCPs. Please see revised containment procedures for details. Addendum on redacted, the following 
A right transmission was received by Foundation personnel. Innate Emergency Procedures, Patmos Omega. Attention, all Foundation personnel. The following message was received at approximately redacted this morning from Site Zero. SCP-001 has left its location. The gate is open. They are writing forth. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. The Lord reign, 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 the Lord reign forever. Lord, he is God, 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 Lord, he is God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Because of this offense in confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995, the opening of SCP-616, and the activation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for for a, an XK-class in the war scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All personnel are to be unlocked and decode emergency order Patmos Omega and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured and all non-essential SCPs and personnel terminated and or destroyed. Repeat, because of this event's confluence with the recent breach of SCP-995 and opening of SCP-616 and the activation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK-class end of the war scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All personnel are to unlock and dec decode emergency order Patnos Omega and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured and all non-essential SCPs and personnel terminated and or destroyed. Repeat, because of the events confluence in the, in the recent breach of SCP-995 and the opening of SCP-616 and activation of SCP-098, the Foundation is, is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK-class at Noir scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. Kane and Abel, my two sons, I am coming. All personnel are to unlock and, deco and decode. Behold, I stand at the gate and knock. And if... And if... And the code... Lo it co co and it becomes signal lost. Upon contacting Site-0, 05-14 responded that no such message has been sent from his location and that SCP-001 remained inert. The transmission was initially determined to be a hoax. However, a close examination of transmission reveals that timestamp data, data redacted years in the future. It is theorized that data expunged.